Hey guys, in this video, going to be going over a strong moveset build that you can teach your Hitmontop in the second generation Pokemon games and how you can access these moves. So Hitmontop is a fighting type. This is going to leave it resisting Bug Dark Rock while being weak to Flying and Psychic. In terms of its stats, Hitmontop's best number is its special defense all the way up there at 110, then respectable attack and defense each at 95, speed at 70, HP at 50, and special attack at 35. So taking a look at this build, I like to go the high jump kick with Curse Counter and Hidden Power Ghost. You have a couple of offensive options there, same type attack bonus with high jump kick and then diversifying your offensive options with Hidden Power Ghost, also giving you a super effective move to use against Psychic types. Having Curse to boost up our offensive output and also being able to use Counter strategically if we're able to predict a physical attack against us, being able to deal double damage to our opponent in return. Starting off with High Jump Kick, if missed, the user takes 1 8th damage it would have dealt. It has 85 power, 90% accurate, getting a same type attack bonus on that one. And this one isn't learned through leveling up, it is through an egg move. And going over to the breeding chart, we can see that the father would have to be from the Hitmonlee line, knowing High Jump Kick to pass that one down. You can see that there's also rest and return slotted in here as options, but I prefer going the curse counter route. And what curse is going to do is it increases our attack and defense while reducing our speed. And curse is TM03 found over at the Celadon Mansion, also known as the Celadon Condominiums. And this can be found on the roof from a man inside after listening to his story at night. That's how you can pick up that TM03 for curse. The next move counter is learned through leveling up. You pick that one up at level 31. And what counter does is if hit by a physical attack, you're going to return double damage to the opposition. And then rounding things out with move number four, we have hidden power ghost, which gives us a super effective option to use against psychic types. And getting the right typing on your hidden power can be quite difficult. I'll link this article down in the description that walks you through the process and how you go about calculating the typing on hidden power in the gen two games. And hidden power is TM10. You can find it over on the third floor of the Celadon department store for 3000. And that rounds out this build with the item being leftovers at the end of every turn. The holder restores 1 16th of its max HP. And leftovers can be picked up from a wild Snorlax, from a trash bin in the Celadon City restaurant, and by trading either Wild Clefable or Wild Snorlax from the first gen Pokemon games over to the gen 2 games. And that's going to wrap up this moveset build for Hitmontop in the gen 2 Pokemon games. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel, and I'll catch you back here next time.